In 2010, thousands of children from all over England embarked on a mission. That mission was to transform their school canteens from somewhere boring into somewhere brilliant. That mission was Canteen Rescue. Over a thousand schools took part in this unique competition run by the School Food Trust. Their aim, to improve the nation's school dinner halls. The research shows that the reason that children don't eat school food largely is not because of the quality of the food. That's what people think, but actually what they're not happy to do is sit in a dining environment that's old, that's tired, that's dull. I think children expect a bit better and they should get a bit better. A panel of celebrities was drafted in. It's Dick here from Dick and Dom. I'm Scott Mills. I'm Brian Turner. And over much debate, they whittled down over 1,000 entries. This is before, and this is what they've got planned after. It's got to be able to encourage them to eat well and healthily. Eventually, five winners were picked. What about school four? Definitely yes for me. Oh, no, for Brian, to have their canteens rescued and turned into dream dining rooms. The purpose of the campaign is about showing all schools what's possible on a low cost or even a no cost budget. This is the story of one of the winners. <laughs> Albany Science College in Chorley, Lancashire. It's lunchtime, when the pupils should be able to relax and enjoy their meal. But the canteen at the Albany is anything but relaxing. Look at it, it's old, it's boring, it's cramped. It's just crowded and there's not enough room to sit down properly. It's getting old now, it's going to start falling to pieces eventually. The food's lovely, but the atmosphere's horrible and it's too noisy. For the dinner ladies, who take care to produce a balanced, healthy menu, it's particularly disappointing. It's so frustrating. We put such a lot of effort in the kitchen into making good food and the kids sometimes just don't turn up. I think it's uh, absolutely appalling, the state of things in there. Things haven't re been replaced for a long time and it's such a negative atmosphere for the kids. The negative atmosphere means that some pupils take their food elsewhere, despite this being against school policy. And it's up to staff member Wendy Johnston to round up those who are breaking the rules. Right, you lot. Yeah, the food is good, but like we don't want to eat in there. Can I ask you, why are you eating your lunch in the yard when it's freezing cold and you've got a dining room? It's too small. Eating on the corridors. Why? Yeah, it's all cramps and stuff inside though. So that's why I eat here. Wendy was instrumental in the pupils' canteen rescue bin. I think that's a good idea what they're doing here. They're looking at a problem and finding out what the solution could be. They came up with the concept of a 1950s American-style diner, but with a modern colour scheme. The eating area now includes a mix of seating options, different sizes and shapes of tables, and there's more emphasis on space. We just did a lot of research and we thought that uh, the 50s design would be really good because it's our 50th anniversary for our school. I just think it makes it look more interesting, like you want to come and eat them, we're inviting to eat. It's a better style then. Today, professional designers hired by the School Food Trust are going to show what they've done with the pupils' ideas. These are the images that we had to work from originally. I've just done another sheet with um, wow. the designs that the kids actually did themselves. So sort of obviously took in all the information that they've given us, something that made it really unique from some of the other designs that came in. Uh, there were some really interesting colour choices on your design boards that we kind of uh, yeah. really took mm. to. The design quality was absolutely amazing. Um, some of the designs we just thought were professional quality. Well, when I saw the design, I thought it was brilliant, really. It was like, really, as an, for an interior designer to do a 1950s diner, it's loads of fun. It's the actual... Wow! <laughs> this is what it's going to be. This is this idea it's going to be yeah. like. The plans show how the canteen will be transformed. Down one wall, they've got 1950s-style booth seating, and down the other, a breakfast bar for pupils who want a quick snack. The tables have changed from oblong to round to maximise the use of space. And on the wall, there are references to the 1950s. 
It's just been fantastic to work with the pupils and the teachers who've been involved in the whole project. It's just amazing. I just... Oh, I love it. I love oh, it. <laughs> I can't wait for the kids to see it. The plans have impressed Wendy, but now the designers have to convince the pupils. We've had a look at your space, your dining room space. We went on to uh, do a sort of a 3D, it's called a SketchUp model, with all of the dimensions that you sent over. How do you feel about that? <laughs> Seeing them now actually like being designed, it's, yeah. They've done a good job, haven't yeah. they? Yeah, the round tables, the better, because you can socialise more with your friends and take more time to eat your dinner. Because there's more space, you're not really squashed next to each other, so you can, like, you enjoy your meal more, really. It's a very good design. It's uh, well placed out exactly as we wanted it. As long as they're telling the truth, it's been really good feedback, I think. <laughs> There's relief all round. The students like the designs, but they realised the budget won't stretch to the jukebox they wanted. That is a disappointment. One of the things we have incorporated in the design is a, sort of a, be like a sticky vinyl to go on the wall. I know it's not exactly the same, but, you know, that just brings in, again, the jukebox kind of feel. And now, they're not sure about the colour scheme. We've been thinking and looking at the colours of the walls and we're thinking it's pretty similar to what we've already got and not a lot of people like that. And we're just thinking maybe it could be brightened up a bit. I mean, obviously, I've brought this and it, to everybody, it probably looks like it's really set in stone, like this is what you're having, but really, like you've said with the colour, there's loads of different things that we can do, so the colours can completely change if you wanted them to. And as long as we get feedback from all of you, then we can do whatever you want, really. To help finalise the plans, Wendy has organised a trip to a real American diner in Liverpool to inspire the pupils and generate ideas. It's how like we imagined it and everything said sparkly and we like it like this, it's really good. It's everything that we expected it to be and a bit more. I mean um, the whole atmosphere of it's kind of I mean, even the smells as well. Inspired by what they've seen, the children take photos of things they'd like for their canteen. Brilliant. Got loads of ideas here. Yeah. Definitely loads of ideas. That, you, that it's not going to cost too much money neither to do. Yeah. We think the number plates look really good as well. Because we think they look really American. We think that looks really good. I think the students are really impressed. It's just the menu boards and, and the mirrors with wording on it, pictures, the clock. It's just the whole atmosphere. Yeah. Fabulous. Yeah. I like that. The Hollywood Original pictures, like, yeah. you know, like... Like old-fashioned canvases. Yeah. Like, no, it's quite simply done, uh, and it's easily done, and I'm sure within a budget, you could anyone could actually do this. In the spirit of enterprise, the students decide to make an audacious request to the diner's manager. Steve, have you got any old items that's related to the 50s that we could have or anything like that? Like oh. everything in the back or anything? Well, yeah, I can go check. Thank you. How easy was that? Got the sign for you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. All right, for you. Oh, thank you. Here you go. Thank you. Thank, thank, you. thank you. Thank you. Thanks a lot. High five! 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 The visit to the diner has inspired the pupils to find some low-cost memorabilia to improve the 50s feel of their canteen. So next up, a trip to a vintage emporium. They've barely had time to sniff out a bargain before they spot the one item that they want... Wow, it's a jukebox! ..but can't afford. Wow. <laughs> that looks really good. Wow, that's actually immense. Shall I take a picture of it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. take a picture. Despite the price tag, the pupils allow themselves to dream a little. Thinking yeah, totally how it could fit into our dining room. 
yeah. judging by the plans that we've seen, it. it just looked, well, phenomenal, really. It's beautiful. Finish it off. Yeah, yeah it's complete beautiful. it. Make it whole. Back to reality, the group split up to see what they can find. Well, these were used quite a lot in the 50s, and if we can't get a jukebox, we might be able to get one of these. The very 50s, these pictures. We can do a lot with just a little bit of money, like the odd picture here and there will look great, and it'll finish it off. And they're only £10 as well, so... Found a licence plate. Among the thousands of objects in the store, the pupils unearth some hidden gems. £59 for obviously a dinosaur, and I assume it's uh, LED lights, and then obviously they light up. And their luck doesn't end there. There is also a Route 66. Route 66 sign, obviously famous for America. They fetch Wendy to show her their prize find. This is hey, like, that's brilliant, that. It's like a nuclear rocket with a on it. I like yeah. that. That is perfect, yeah. isn't it? They've done really, really well. I think really we well. We don't have to spend a fortune to actually make it look good. We can come here, we can source a lot of our ideas without spending a fortune. I think it's made us like more looking forward to it, really, because we've realised that um, there's lot like small things can make a really big difference. And maybe car boots would be a good thing as well to look for sourcing yeah. materials, which we haven't thought about until now, really. I've just thought about that really while we're in there. Overall, the day's gone really well, and. Um, it's just a case of looking forward to it now. Albany Science College in Chorley is having its dreary old school canteen rescued. Look at it. It's old, it's boring, it's cramped. It's getting old now. It's going to start falling to pieces eventually. It's being turned into a 1950s-style American diner. I thought that uh, the 50s design would be really good because it's our 50th anniversary. Albany beat over 1,000 other schools to win Canteen Rescue, a national competition run by the School Food Trust. The purpose of the campaign is about showing all schools what's possible on a low cost or even a no cost budget. No matter what theme you actually choose for your dining hall, you can find something to fit in with that theme. So you could actually tailor it to what you want and it's not too expensive. It's half term and work on the project has already begun. Staff member Wendy Johnston is on site, overseeing the makeover. They've started the painting, the plumbers have been in and removed the old sinks, and they've painted the ceiling, which has made a huge difference. Didn't realise how dirty it looked. And the high seating, that's been put in place now as well. And the red wall, I know it wasn't originally in the plan, but when we went to the diner to have a look for inspiration, they saw the red wall and they decided they, need, they wanted to change the colour scheme. I think it's a fantastic colour and it's quite bright and vibrant and it'll go in with everything else we need to match it with. A new canteen needs a new name, so the school held a competition to come up with one. The winning name was Light Hollers because Charles Light Holler, he was a second officer uh, on the Titanic and he was a surviving member of the Titanic and he was actually born on the land here where the school's been built on, so it's quite historical. Like the Titanic, the old school canteen was in danger of sinking. But with Canteen Rescue on board, the workmen are confident they can keep it afloat. There are certain things that take longer than others, but we've got like five days to achieve this, and uh, we reckon we'll be finished on time. It's halfway through the makeover, and Brian from the School Food Trust has come to see how things are going. Oh, oh yeah. The ceiling's painted. So it is. Red walls. So you can really see it's coming along, can't you? Yeah. It looks so much lighter and um, it's a lot more airy, doesn't it? Yeah. From the outset, the school, you know, all the kids have been involved, you've been involved, mm. the other teachers have mm. been involved, and it's yeah. just, you know, if it can come together in the short time that you've got and look the way that the kids wanted it to, I just think it's going to be 
just going to be incredible. I think we're going to be challenged next week because we're going to be going from the extreme of them coming in, rushing the dinner and going to them was not being able to get them out of here. A good problem to have. It is a good, a good problem, problem, a yeah. fantastic problem to have. Should happen. It's going to happen. Fingers crossed. Think positive. Fantastic. To make sure it happens, some of the other staff members are doing their bit for the canteen. What we did, uh, it went to a local record store to ask if he had any vinyls from and records from like the 50s and he did really well, he came up with loads and we've got about 20 here. And we managed to get this absolutely free from the guy. So what we're going to do is choose the best ones and mount them in the frames so we get a bit more colour into the dining room. And then some of them we're just going to take the, the vinyls out. It's just a really cheap way to transform the, the room. Unfortunately, not everything comes free. There was no room in the budget for a jukebox, and although the pupils have been fundraising, they've no idea Wendy has raised the money and bought it. This is the jukebox that the pupils have been raising funds for, but they don't know they're going to get it on Monday. So um, this kind gentleman has given me the jukebox at a really good price. Really, really happy and excited. Um, I can't wait. I can't wait for the pupils to see this on Monday. It's just going to finish the dining room off. Should we test it? After waiting so long, Wendy is keen to see it in action. Yes! Can we have some rock and roll off? Yeah. And she can't resist a little boogie. Unfortunately, everybody else is too busy to join in. With the end of the makeover in sight, it's all hands on deck as the new furniture arrives. are going to love these. While the booth seating is fitted, Wendy and Kim put up the finishing touches. Happy days! The canteen is almost complete, and for Wendy, the transformation has been overwhelming. I'm quite, quite emotional about it. Um, I've seen the booths in the and it's blown me away. I know it's seating and you shouldn't get upset over a bit of seating, but I'm excited. I'm excited for tomorrow, I think, now. I'm, I'm buzzing, actually. It's the big day. Half term is over and the makeover is complete. Albany's tired, run-down canteen has been rescued. It's time for the pupils who've been part of the project to get the first glimpse of their new dining. Oh my gosh! Oh, it's amazing! <laughs> Let me put the door out with. Wow! Oh, what did you call it? Route 66 That's cool. It's really nice. It's well good. The canteen is a huge success. The pupils head straight for the booth seating and the jukebox. <laughs> At the moment, it's, um, well, mind-boggling, to be honest. Better than we expected as well. Wow. To see no. their faces today, that's made all the work worthwhile. It's better than what I thought it was going to be. I didn't think that we'd get the tables like this, but it's really good. Really, really cool. To see it now is unbelievable. Uh, uh, and I'm absolutely delighted with it, the way it's turned out. There's a lot more space to get around. It's not cramped anymore, it's great, yeah. It's a bit like modern and, well, modern like with a touch of like 50s in it. And the jukebox is great, I think it's going to make it more lively in here. When I walked in here this morning and saw this, I just felt absolutely stunned. 
Honestly, I'm inspired, I'm amazed, and I'm incredibly impressed at what they've done. I'm seriously proud of them. They're really, really exceptional pupils. They should be proud of themselves. It's all our hard work came into one whole canteen, and it looks really good. And it's not just the kids who are impressed. Oh, it's beautiful. It's absolutely gorgeous. It puts a smile on your face when you walk in instead of walking and thinking, oh, my God. Yeah. It takes you back to your era, it the does. 50s. <laughs> it's a dramatic change. But will it be enough to change the school's eating habits? Now I'm going to definitely eat in here. It looks really cool. I think now that people want to sit in here because it's lively, it's colourful, it's not depressing. From like the image of it and everything, everybody who wants to come in now and eat a lunch inside the canteen. I think we're going to have a problem with shifting them out, to be honest. <laughs> it's celebrations all round as the canteen opens for its very first lunch. <laughs> and the good news is, it's full. You know, every time I speak to young boys and girls, they say the same thing. They want to sit somewhere nice and have their lunch. Why wouldn't they? Well, and I think, you know, having come up with this fantastic design, hopefully that's exactly what they're going to be able to do.